I appreciate your time and look forward to sharing some information with you about the project management services that the DIT PMO offers. So our project management services is under DIT. We report up through solutions delivery. We have experienced project managers who are project management professionals certified by the PMI organization. And we work with all the cabinet agencies and have provided excellent, in my opinion, project management services across the board for the projects that we have been able to manage and carry out through to fruition and make our customers happy. Um, just a few benefits of our service. Um, we are all PMP certified project management professionals through the Project Management Institute. We are all very familiar with the QMS system and the um, touchdown system, which is the tool that we use that's provided us to us through the Enterprise Project Management Office. Um, as Tammy mentioned, we are two separate organizations. Um, the EPMO, the Enterprise Project Management Office, is really there to support us and provide oversight and guidance for the projects that we manage. Uh, they are allocated to different agencies. So each of the EPMO project management advisors work with specific agencies. The staff in the DIT PMO project management office, we work across all the agencies um, depending on the need and uh, the requirements of the project. So we, our folks are basically contracted out to work with any of the cabinet agencies who need PM services and do not have their own staff. Um, one of our benefits, obviously, is we are very skilled at paying attention to the main aspects of all projects, the cost, the schedule, the budget, the reporting, the issues, the risk. That's our job and that's what we do. Um, one of the benefits of our group um, is the ease in which you can obtain project management services from our team. Uh, there are no uh, procurement processes involved. You simply submit a request that we'll show here at the end where you can find that request. You submit the request. We determine availability and bandwidth. There's a memorandum of understanding that is submitted and shared across your agency and our group. And once we have all approvals, we're ready to go and the MOU serves as the guidance for the engagement for the project manager for the particular project. We have an MOU in place for each of the projects that our project managers manage. Um, another benefit, obviously, is the cost avoidance. Um, you know, the Liberty Mutual commercials where you only pay for what you need? Well, that's how we work. Um, our project managers are only charged for the time that they spend on your project, and we track that time and we keep it, um, we keep our own little spreadsheet so we know what time we spent on the individual projects. And then those are billed out through the normal billing processes that you probably see for your infrastructure services and other things like telecom, like uh, Tammy mentioned earlier. Um, so you don't necessarily, you don't need to have a full-time PM on staff when you may not have full-time work for that person to do. You can engage us and we'll assign a PM and that person only charges the time for the time that they're working on your project. It's really easy to get hold of us. Uh, we have a project management services request form, ask for some basic information, you fill that out, hit send, it submits it to me, comes to our group, I'll review it, Part of the purpose in gathering this information up front is so that we can do some preliminary determination on the level of effort that it might take. I need to look at bandwidth for my PMs to see who's available and to potentially look at best fit. Uh, who is who on my team has done this type of work in the past? Uh, we try to leverage um, lessons learned and knowledge within the team if it's possible. Uh, to place PMs in the situation where they may have managed a similar project in the past. Um, I'll get the project manager assigned. 
As I mentioned before, we'll get the uh, memorandum of understanding out to you for approval. And once we've got that done, we're ready to get the PM engaged and ready to get started. And so I have the link here at the, um, the slide deck at the bottom here that you'll have access to um, in the future once this is published. But this link will take you to the PM services page in the service catalog. And when you scroll down to the bottom of that, there's a next step section that will guide you to the form and where you need and how you can fill that out. There's also instructions there. And Kelly's got it right here. Uh, if you scroll to the bottom under the next steps, you'll see the link here. You can click on that. There's also instructions there. It will take you to the form and you simply populate your information as you know it today and then sent, hit save and it directly comes to me. And then I can begin, like I said, reviewing the request, try to determine best fit and who has bandwidth and then we'll get your PM assigned.